Nobody cares about the fact that we've got a bunch of young black and brown men in prison. That argument is not working. What I suggest we do as African Americans is own this issue in law enforcement and then define it in the way that works for us. Because it is a myth to say that African Americans don't want law enforcement. We do. We want our grandmothers to be able to walk to church and be safe. We want our babies to be able to walk to the park and be safe. What we don't want is racial profiling. What we don't want is excessive force. That's right. What we That's don't right. want is to have our civil liberties and civil rights be stripped. But we do want law enforcement. So let's define it in the way that works for us by saying, I want community policing. I want a police department that works in my neighborhood and in my community that reflects the mores and the culture and respects my grandmother again when they walk in to talk to her. I want a system of, of, of accountability in the criminal justice system that says law enforcement needs to own crime prevention as much as it talks about long sentences. Because nationally, only 18% of serious crime results in an arrest. So if I, as law enforcement, with my responsibility to keep you safe, only talk about keeping you safe by sending people to prison for a long time, I'm necessarily going to fall short because the vast majority of that crime's not even hitting my system. So if I'm going to keep my promise to you to keep you safe, I better talk with you about what I'm doing in terms of crime prevention, which means recognizing that people coming out of the state prisons, 60% will recidivate if we don't get them in reentry programs, if we don't get them in job training, job readiness, get them in programs that deal with their substance abuse, get them in meaningful housing and employment so they don't recidivate. We could talk about it in terms of is it the right thing to do? Of course it is. But you know, I'm done talking about it like that. I'll just talk about it on this basis. If that person commits another crime, I have to spend $10,000 to try that felony. They sit in my county jail for $35,000 a year. I'm running a reentry program out of my office in San Francisco DA's office that brings folks back into the community at an expense of $8,000 a year, guarantees them employment, guarantees them meaningful reunification with their family.